Hello there, my name is Amy Green, with an E on the end. I am the widow of Milton H. Green, who is Marilyn's favorite photographer. I think it's wonderful that Greg and Scott and all of you of the Marilyn Monroe Fan Club have kept alive her memory, and I thank you for inviting me to partake in today's celebration. I know Marilyn would be humbled, embarrassed, and yet pleased for the work that all of you, you fans, have done to keep her memory alive. It was Milton's genius, if you want to call it, who decided that the vehicle for the next Marilyn Monroe production would be Laurence Olivier and herself. He immediately bought it from Terence Radican and it was just perfect because everybody became friends and everybody loved everybody. It was a disastrous shoot and it was a beautiful shoot. It all depended on the mood of the star, who was having problems with her creepy husband, but we won't go into that right now. That Olivier did not quit as director in the middle of this was explained as his professionalism. I hear that you have collectibles from the film. You have the white dress and you have the white fan. The fan is lovely because Sybil Thorndike, who plays the Queen Mother in the film, gives it to her along with a long pair of white gloves, a purse, and a fur stole. So Marilyn, when she gets into the coronation coach, that scene is just lovely and beautiful. And it's the first time that Larry smiles at her and she smiles back and she becomes very giggly and he's charming her. He would look at the dailies of the films and he realized that what he saw on screen was far more than he remembered standing in front as a director. He realized, like stars were falling on him, that she was really a force of nature. You know, in the end, the reviews of the film gave Larry Olivier directing sort of mediocre mezzo-mezzo reviews and Marilyn got really good, good raves. Have a wonderful time, everybody. Bye.